next week, so we will start with Godolphin. Ah, this could have significant ramifications, uh, Patrick. This is uh, Godolphin massively reducing their global marketing spend. What do you make of that? Well, the, the big, I mean, it's not, <coughs> it's, it's not what we wanted to hear, but we hope it's an isolated development. You know, that, that obviously what we, we, we're so grateful to, you know, the McToons for their support over the years. Um, it's brought so much to the industry that uh, we just hope there's nothing significant. I don't think there is, you know, uh, and, uh, you know, if, if they feel that, you know, marketing, they may well feel that marketing is not something that's actually essential to them, mm. you know, that, uh, you know, people will use their stallions, um, you know, if they want to use them. Uh, so uh, hopefully it's just that, it's just a realignment. But this is, is this a cultural shift in the sport, do you think, Susanna, whereby we've relied on the sort of largesse of, uh, of Coolmore and Godolphin and Qatar from time to time, and we shouldn't be relying on sort of excessive uh, bouts of generosity. Yeah, I mean, to me, every every business is always reviewing everything in any sector, and yet we get surprised if people do it in racing. I think it's a perfectly rational decision for them to make. I'm sure it swings and roundabouts, and it'll change in the future, but I just see it as a rational business decision that they've got to make sure that well, how they're spending their money wisely. However much money you've got, you still want to do the right thing with it. It's a rational business decision, but it's, it does have significant ramifications for various institutions that have come to rely on that support. Oh, sure, yes, they sponsor uh, quite a few. I mean, the, the, the biggest one they said that they're not going to continue their sponsorship is the Irish Oaks. Mm. So that would give the, the Cara uh, somewhat of a problem. Yorkshire Oaks the same, Yorkshire very Oaks valuable. As well, yes. But uh, as Susanna says, they are a big organisation, um, and big organisations tend to... Um, overspend is not the right word, but they, they add things on, add things on, add things on, and then at some stage you have to say, whoa, let's have a look what we're doing here, and are we doing this for the right reason? Every big, I mean, they are, in a sense, a, a big company needs to do that. So it is something that was bound to happen at some stage. Who knows whether it will continue, what they'll do, what decisions they'll make. Good often, who've had a global review of their marketing spend.